Um, can I interest anyone in some ham? No. Excuse me, would you guys like some ham? Oh, yeah, always. Thank you. Awesome. Ham? Oh, no, thanks. It'll make you feel better. I'm not really into ham. Hello? Welcome, friends and family of our dearly departed Doc Collins. I'm Linda, karaoke MC and inventor of the Tammy Why Nots. The world's first detachable fringe turns any top into a shirt fit for a rodeo queen, patent pending. We know who you are, Linda. Let's move it along. As uh, Dot's executrix, I will now administer her last will and testament. I slept with an executrix once. I think you mean dominatrix, Ty. Shouldn't this be done in a lawyer's office? You know, by a lawyer? You? I'm in charge. Oh, that's what she said. Except for the you part. Are you on? Hello? Testing, testing. OK. Dot here. Well, if you're watching this, I have gone on to the great happy hour in the sky. <laughs> Cheers. No crying. Come on. I had a good run. Very few regrets. Except maybe that uh, cone bra phase. <laughs> I love Madonna. Anyway, I don't have much, but I do want to give some tokens to those of you who have given me so much. So here goes nothing. To my bar back, Ty Rosenfeld. Honey, I'm giving you back that Swedish hair putty you gave me for Christmas. The uh, hair sculpting is for the younger lesbians. Yeah, that's true, yeah. To my sweet busboy, Martin Honeycutt. I bequeath my commemorative Princess Diana chip and dip bowl. <laughs> she is an icon and it's dishwasher safe. She always gets the inside of her. Jody. My loyal bartender, I am leaving you my Sausage of the Month Club Lifetime Membership! <laughs> Happy eating, girl! <laughs> Linda, my little inventor. Honey, I'm leaving you an autographed picture of Mary Anderson, inventor of the windshield wiper. <laughs> I hope it brings you lots of inspiration. It will. Finally, my pride and joy. Dot's hole. Yeah. Only gay bar in three counties. <laughs> a lot of you came out in my hole. Okay. Found love in my hole. Had a lot of good times in my hole. Yeah. Yeah. Just wish my hole were bigger. Yeah. That's why I'm leaving it in the hands of the one person I know who can take it to the next level. Cat McDonald! <laughs> what? you endorsed glow and go is it supposed to look like this is that the shade they call circus peanut yeah i think it was later recalled oh i'm so sorry about your loss dot was a really nice lady thank you and um sorry about your face <laughs> well well Looky loo, Martin, Ohio's prodigal daughter returns. <laughs> you look hideous, by the way. Did you see Allison? It's here a minute ago. Nice of her to pay respect, don't you think? Ham? Allison doesn't come here anymore? Oh, Allison hasn't been in Dot since you were in Allison. Sure you don't want to, Ham? No, thanks. I ate on the plane. Right. Where are you now? Scranton? Miami. Well, it sure is good <laughs> to have you back in town, Kat. Yeah, that reminds me. Somebody drew a mustache on my home of U.S. women's soccer team player Kat McDonald sign over at City Hall. Oh. That's terrible. Who would do that? <laughs> um, we haven't officially met. I'm Martin. And this sullen thing is Ty. What's up? <laughs> Martin, Ty. Good to see some new faces in the hole. <laughs> I'll be here one year next August. 
Oh, me? Uh, let me see. Well, I was dating Kelsey when Dot hired me. That was two months. There was Brianna, three months. Slauson Twins, a month and a half. Mono for a month. Chick from the DMV, three weeks. That's, wait. No, no, Kelsey was three. You know what? It's good to meet both of you. Um, I don't usually follow soccer unless you count David Beckham's underwear ads, but you're famous. Oh, no. <laughs> well, maybe a little, once upon a time. Famous for losing the International Cup by one goal. For the last time, soccer is a team sport. I didn't single-handedly lose the International Cup. Why are you still so pissed at me anyway? Morgan passes to McDonald. Two seconds to go. Here's the kick. Cut. Oh, it's oh, wide oh, open. Oh, God. Cat. Cat McDonald, stupid loser. So what do you do now? Hang out with celebrities and stuff? Yeah, how's by you? Tell us everything. Oh, uh, right now I'm, I'm working for a, a sportswear company. Huh? You know, doing sales, consulting, and. Maybe you can help me with my latest invention. They're called Uniwalkers. They're shoes that go on either feet. Because why do shoes have to be right or left? No gull darn reason I can figure out. <laughs> That's great, Linda. Don't encourage her. Stick with karaoke, Fargo. I don't see why I can't do both. It's called being versatile. Or bisexual. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe she's gone. I mean, do we do we know what happened? Only that she went on a whale watching tour in Cape Cod and the ship sank. You know, I hate to say this, but if I were Dot, I would have left the place to Jody. I mean, she still practically lives here, right? So I suppose you could replace all of us with your model friends. Models? You know models. I know a ton of them, which is a lot because they don't eat. Hello? Oh, gosh. Uh, sorry, I can I can come back tomorrow. Oh, you know Kat, right? Oh, that's right, you two dated. Or was it more like true love? Quit it. What? This is like theater in the round. Hey, Allison, you, you look great. <laughs> no, I don't. Did I see you here earlier? I mean, not that I was looking for you. Oh, well, yeah, I was, I was in the back. Um, well, I forgot my jacket, and I can just grab that and get out of your hair. You don't want to keep Polly waiting. I'll go get him. No. I mean, no. He's playing Call of Duty in the car. He's he's fine. Polly Silva, the cop? Uh, Allison and Polly are married. Oh, that's great. I hadn't heard. <laughs> I better go. Um, Jody, if you find my jacket. I'll put it on eBay. OK, then. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. Hey. Um, um, I'll just, okay, good night. Okay, bye. Well, that was worth the price of admission. When did she marry him? Last year, but can you blame her? I mean, you left to go play soccer, and Allison's such a pretty girl, and, well, we always knew she was, uh, you know, versatile. Yeah, but once you go cat, you never go back. T you know what? It's fine. I have a girlfriend, Julia, and she proposed to me last week. Thank you very much. I think it's time we got married. Are you going to finish the dishes? So romantic. Was it romantic? Swept me right off my feet. Oh, are those pajama jeans? <laughs> I ran out of clothes. I didn't expect to be here this long. But doesn't my ass look amazing? Hey, Jody. Check out my ass. <laughs> I've never thought of you like that, and I prefer to keep it that way. Mm-hmm. Oh, those jeggings are on point. Right? But they're pajama jeans, I think. What, what's the difference between jeggings and pajama jeans? <sighs> Sorry I'm tardy to the party. You can't swing a feather boa in this town without hitting a bait shop, but quality crafting supplies, forget it. I had to go all the way to Elksburg. <sighs> okay, Kat, what do you need? Um, 
What's the difference between jeggings and pajama jeans? Hello, jeggings are tapered, pajama jeans are boot cut. Oh. Why are you in such a good mood? Well, it took me almost a week, but I think I finally figured out what to do about the bar. I'm gonna sell it. What? Yep, it's the best thing. I'll go back to Miami, you all will keep doing whatever it is that you do, and everything will go back to normal. Who the heck would want to buy this place? Hopefully someone named Bobby Newton. She called me the minute the listing went up. We have an appointment tomorrow. This isn't what Dot wanted. She left the bar to you. Hey, if you want to take this place off my hands, be my guest. I can't. All my money's tied up in the Eurozone right now. Where's the Eurozone? Oh, Jesus. Oh! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm, I'm going to the pet store to apply for a job. So you got married. Wow. Um, I thought to tell you, but I didn't know how to reach you. It's OK. I'm just glad you're happy. Are you happy? Oh, yeah. Polly's loving and protective and, and really loyal, you know? Uh, when I go home, he is so happy to see me. You just described a golden retriever. Oh my god, Kat, I got grease on your pants. Oh no, no, it's fine. No, no, let me get uh, a rag or club soda. I'll kick that out. Uh, Gasoline. Yeah, relax, okay. it's fine. Well, what about your OCD anal? Everything must be a perfect thing. The OCD is mostly DOA now. Impossible. I mean, it may have been eight years since we lived together, but I remember how you were. Allison, you're so worried you're going to miss the previews. Why don't you just leave without me? Maybe I will. Fine. Fine. <clears throat> hey, I just had a brilliant idea. Why don't you waitress at Dots? Oh, no. I couldn't. I couldn't. No, 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 no. I own the place now. I can do this sort of thing. I hereby hire you. No. Why not? It would just be too weirdo working for you. For you. Okay, okay. What, what if I told you that I'm selling the bar and that whoever bought the place would be your new boss? Yeah? Yeah, I'll just tell the new owners to keep everyone on. Okay. Well, that would be less weirdo. Yeah, and I I have to get back to Miami anyway, so. Oh, yeah, I uh, I ran into Linda at Suds and Buds. She told me all about your big sportswear sales consulting thing. Ugh. Yeah about that. Um, <laughs> I'm the assistant manager at Sneaker Lady. <laughs> Big hometown hero, huh? Oh, Kat. All because you lost that cup by one goal? That's so dumb. Is it? People only care about winners. That is not true. Nice shot, stupid loser. There's smoke coming out of your ears. I'm working on my latest invention. Snizzers. What are snizzers? I don't know yet. Oh, my appointment is here. Welcome to Dot's Hole, Cat McDonald. Oh. We spoke on the phone. Bobby Newton, pleased to meet you. Uh, can I get you a beer? Beer? No, 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 no. Cat, I got this. How about a Cosmo for a cosmopolitan lady? Actually, I prefer single malt scotch, but I'm working. So, will club soda with lemon? Jody, club soda with lemon for Miss Newton. Mm. Um, as you can see, the bar has small town charm. Miss McDonald? <laughs> I'm ready to make you an offer right now. Oh, that's great. That's really fast. That's a lot of zeros. Time is precious. I took the liberty of getting some papers drawn up. You sounded very motivated to sell. Oh, I am. But um, the last time I jumped on board something without thinking, I, I ended up on a catamaran with Tila Tequila. This bar is perfect. It sits on a very large lot. It's near a main road. The chicken factory is downwind. Look, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm also considering another property in Elksburg. So if you're not ready to sign today, I'm going there tomorrow. Tomorrow? <laughs> wow. Pressure much? <laughs> you don't have to do this, and I have plenty of options. The question is, do you? <laughs> Carpe diem, right? <laughs> yeah, excellent. <sighs> well, we will be in touch very soon. We? 
Who's we? Big box? Mm -hmm. The discount chain? Correct. As soon as we demolish this place, we're going to begin construction. Oh, I think the town is going to be very excited, don't you? You sold the bar to Big Box? Are you fucked up? I think the Miami sun has fried your brain. Carpe diem, it's Latin for seize the day. Uh, we're not idiots. We speak Latin. Yeah, ixnay on the abari snay. Here's one for you. Caveat emptor. Let the buyer beware of me. Little Miss Power Suit, better run if I catch your sneaky, lying, oh, hot, tight, amazing ass. Does this mean we're out of jobs, Kat? Wait, what? I, I just put new tires on the Voodoo Lounge. Look, maybe this isn't exactly what I had in mind, but they're paying double what I was asking. Double! And, and would it really be so bad to have a big box here in Morton? I mean, do you really enjoy driving 20 minutes to buy toilet paper and glitter? It's the man, or in this case, the woe man. Either way, it's wrong. But most importantly, what about Dot's will? Geez, can you imagine what she'd say? Cat, you're like the daughter I never had. I trust you. Take it to the next level, Cat. Don't. Fuck up the bar that I should have given to Jody! Yes, Martin, Polly would be lucky to have you. But Bobby Newton made me an offer I couldn't refuse. But what about us? What happened to you'll all get to keep your jobs? This is your fault! You know what? Just get out of my face. I yeah. have to think about this. Yeah, right. Run! We don't need you here. You're not one of us. You're persona non grata. What? More Latin! Yeah, Ader Trey. That's all for now. Why aren't you answering your cell phone? Julia? <laughs> How'd you get this number? Please. You think I can't keep track of my girlfriend? I once held onto the back of an SUV all the way to Daytona. Why have you been avoiding me? Avoiding you? <laughs> Why would I be avoiding you? I asked you to marry me, and you ran away. I mean, who does this? It sounded more like you were ordering me. Does this have anything to do with your little brother getting married last month? I have eight sisters and five brothers, and they're all married now. Even Maria, and she has the skin tags. Why don't you go to Key West for a couple days? Cool down. Have a pina colada or five. Alone? I am not going to eat pineapple alone. If you don't come home right now, I'm gonna erase all of your madmen. You can say adios to the Dan Draper. Hey, leave him alone! Oh, try and stop me. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you either. Get the fuck out of here! You get the fuck out of here. No, you come home first, then you get the fuck out of here. You don't want to get married? You don't want to marry me? Fine. We're done. We're through. We are over. Julia Rivas, does not to the begging. Hello? I saw the whole thing from the window. God, I hate bullies. Where are those bastards? Uh, in, in the parking lot. You jackwads want some of this? This is my bar, and I'm in no mood. Yeah, I'm a crazy bitch when people mess with my people. Oh, and you just made me hang up a woman who once hit a Jehovah's Witness in the head with a frying pan. So yeah, let's do this. In, in the back parking lot. That's right. There's a new sheriff in town. Tell your pals. God, that felt good. Oh. How were those guys? Just two jerks. It's been going on since sixth grade. The school nurse used to let me hide out in her office every lunch period. She smelled like schnapps and cats. This is your safe haven now, Martin. Thank you. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go splash some water in my face and possibly throw up. Hi, Bobby. It's Cat McDonald. Any chance you're still in town? 
Oh my God, what happened then? Well, a cat started swinging the baseball bat and like yelling and she was like flipping out, but in, in a good way. It was awesome. I mean, it was scary until Cat went all league of their own on them. What are their names? Let me get the posse together. We have a posse? Calm down, I took care of them. We have bigger problems. What could be bigger than gay bashers? Bobby Newton from Big Box. Thanks to Martin, I now remember what this place means to all of us. This town needs Dot's Hole way more than it needs color-coordinated hand towels at reasonable prices. How are you gonna get the bar back, Kat? You signed that contract. I have a plan, but I don't know what it is yet, and she's gonna be here any second. Guys, in Ohio, the law says if a contract is lost, there's no proof it existed, and you can't be held to it. How messed up is it that Winona Ryder Jr. is the brains of this outfit? How the heck did you know that? Hooked up with a paralegal once. Ty, you're a genius and very promiscuous. All we have to do now is destroy the contract. Hello? Uh, don't worry, boss. If there's one thing we're good at, it's ruining things. Cat? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky you caught me. I was on my way to the airport. Oh, uh, leaving our little hamlet so soon? Don't worry. I'll be back to oversee the demolition and make sure we get the variances for construction. Oh, so are you ready for a real drink then? And I assume this is the contract? Oh, yeah, yes, and sure. A little celebration, right? I'll have a scotch, single malt. Mm. You know, I could have answered any questions about the contract over the phone. Oh, I know, but I like to read things for myself. Linda, what does that say there? Oh, uh, that says, oopsie. Why would you do that? <sighs> I will go out to the car and get another contract. Yeah, don't okay? bother. I won't be signing this time. Given the choice between a big box and a small hole, I choose the hole. Oh, Miss McDonald, I'm very disappointed. I'll be needing that check back. Can, can we be alone for a few minutes? Hey, that's five to eight dollars. Your friends are insane. Do you know that? Of course I do. I'm from here. Yeah! Good job, guys. Let's celebrate. <laughs> Remember when I used to call you from the road and tell you all my crazy stories? And you made me read that book, You Can't Go Home Again? Well, guess what, Dot? You can. Running this place isn't gonna be so hard. But I feel like I'm forgetting something. Hey, guys. Who's our new boss? Yep, I forgot something.